Wish me luck. you're back. And Tiresias is still alive. Guess you two are bonding, huh? The name's Galt, remember? Galt Renault. And yes, we're getting along famously. Is that so? So far, so good. He is an infamous scoundrel. I've turned over a new leaf. Unless an infamous scoundrel is what you need, of course. I've had enough of scorching heat and sand. What do you say we check out our next target? Theseus Loci. Yeah, well, I'll believe it when I scan it. Huh. What do you know? The body's bioscan matches. You just made a lot of crime bosses very happy. I've got a positive on the rival kill as well. Credit for Tiresias Loci goes to you. Stay hungry, Hunter. This is home. A little spare, don't you think? Thought I'd have more dancing girls? <laughs> now there's a thought. I'm just saying maybe you should consider conserving ammo and installing seats with upholstery. Think about it. Keep the place clean, and we'll talk. I guess I can live with it for now. We can't all be fabulously wealthy criminal masterminds, but this bounty hunting gig seems straightforward enough. Besides, I like the idea of doing the chasing for a change, even if I am slumming it. Been talking to some people. One of my contacts just had some guy in Arshada asking about me. Sounds like he's asking to get shot. Hear any objections? Me neither. My contact says the guy practically screams spook. He's asking about my whereabouts. Goes by the name of Carteri. The spook, not my contact. I think we have time to pay him a visit, don't you? I'm not leaving him loose to come after us. We'll deal with him soon. Alright, then we have a plan.
I've always heard how beautiful Alteron's supposed to be. Figures I'm gonna see it in the middle of a war. At least he'll still be pretty in the holos. You can sightsee after we win the Great Hunt. That's assuming there'll be anything left to see. Just forget it, you wouldn't understand. Welcome to Alderaan, Hunter. Former tourist capital of the Core Worlds. Your target here is a nobleman nicknamed the Durasteel Duke on account of his knack for staying alive. Over a thousand assassins have come and gone trying to put the Duke to bed, but he ain't met you yet, right? He was last seen with House Gerard. They're guests of House Thule, so that's a good place to start looking. Good luck. Figures should gloss over the details. Lucky for you, I'm on the job. Fill me in. I hate surprises. In a nutshell, when the Queen of Alderaan died a few years ago, the head of the military declared himself king. That didn't go over so well. Now the three largest houses are fighting over the crown. I'll need to know more about the major players. Well, General Boris Olgo is the guy who declared himself king, and his house controls most of Alderaan's former military. House Organa and House Thule are Olgo's only real opposition, but they're at each other's throats too. Basically, Argana wants Alderaan back in the Republic, and Thule came back from exile with the help of the Empire. Hey, are you getting all this? Our mark is with Gerard at House Thule, and the rest are target practice. Anything else? Well, that pretty much sums it up. Come on. We better go pay a visit to House Gerard. Oh, and one last thing. The nobles of Alderaan are different. They think they're untouchable, and they won't be impressed. No matter how big a gun you wave around. of my talents, if you ask me. A task just for you. Oh, thank you, Master. House Pantir is dead. House Thule should find its own way to the crown. Wish me luck.
I just cuffed the whelp for scuffing my boot with the stirrup when... Oh, abominable. Just ignore it. Maybe it'll wander away. What's a beautiful young thing like you doing hanging on the arm of this old prune? I was so overwhelmed by your charm and good looks that I thought I might faint. You have some nerve to blunder in here, insult me, and make indecent advances toward my daughter. You must leave, now, and use the servant's exit. People would talk if they saw someone of your ilk here. People are gonna talk after I blast you out of your boots. Are you going to take that, Hada? It's armed and armored. Let's be serious. The gods may deal with this creature. That's the first sensible thing that you've suggested since this started. Ladies and gentlemen, please, return to the festivities. I will have a few words with our esteemed guest here. You'd better pick those words more carefully than your friends here. I will deal with you respectfully if you extend me the same courtesy. You aren't seriously considering dealing with this thug? Uncle, please, I have the situation well in hand. Return to the festivities. This is not a request. I believe I know why you're here, but this is a discussion best held in private. Please wait in my office. I'll be right with you. The results are much better than they appear last. You'll see. Leave everything to me, Master. I will not disappoint you. Well, this is a first. Are the two odds off your flight Huh? I'm a bounty hunter. I'm after the Durasteel Duke. Can you help me or not? Right to the point, yes? I'm afraid the Duke and his sister left House Gerard some time ago under unpleasant circumstances. House Gerard now has a vested interest in finding the Duke and having him meet an unpleasant end. A minor noble claims to have a lead on the Duke. However, he insists on meeting in person, which I'm not willing to do. Instead, I will employ you. Formalities aren't in my job description. I can't expect you to navigate the intricacies of our society, but I can give you the authority to negotiate on my behalf. From this point on, you will act as House Gerard's advocate, a role of honor. Come, I will walk you through the appointment ceremony. Let's make this happen. Please kneel. I, Baron Zakar Gerard, do hereby bequeath my voice and my seal to this proxy. Now repeat after me. I humbly accept this honor and swear to carry my authority in a manner befitting the Lord I serve. Uh-huh. I accept. You know the rest. So we done? What? No, you must... Oh, never mind. It is customary for information to be double encrypted in these transactions. So Lord Malthus must enter his half of the key before you take the data. I'll let Malthus know you'll arrive at his encampment soon. Be on your best behavior. Prepare to be impressed. Perfection delivered, Master. I will perform according to your exacting specifications, Master. Wanna be on top, gonna need the skills. No Jedi will be able to stand against you.
What can I get for you? Come back any time. Stop right where you are. You have no rank here. Etiquette dictates that no one below my rank is permitted within ten paces of my person without my express consent. Um, is he serious? Wait, you? You are the advocate of House Gerard? Outrageous! And I would not trust the likes of you to scrub my sewage, let alone deliver vital correspondence. Here's your opportunity to just shut up and hand over the message. You don't make demands of me, Mongrel. Honor dictates this message must stay in my care until I give it to someone of rank, not a trained Thranta. Look, I have here tokens of respect for my peers, a mission for a page. Deliver them and earn a ten-year-old's honor. Then I can speak to you. How about I deliver your teeth? Wow, I bet that hurt. Oh! You struck me! How dare you! You... you... whatever you are! I'll see you slaughtered like an animal. What are you always waiting for? Pound this curd to the ground. Baron Zaka will hear of this offense. Enjoy explaining why my information will now go to someone else. I demand that you prostrate yourself and beg for mercy. Or so help me, I'll have you brought before a tribunal for these grievous affronts. You're a slow learner. Ah! Oh, stop that! You'll regret- All right, all right, all right, quarter, quarter, I relent. I shall enter my half of the security key. You take this message to Baron Zaka with my fond regards. I have never seen a sense of entitlement outweigh a sense of self-preservation like that. May we never meet again. I myself, Master. I think you'll be quite pleased. A task just for you. Oh, thank you, Master. house? My entire block apartment back on Narshadaka fit in there. Ugh, I'm gonna hate these people, aren't I? I thought the Imperials were supposed to be keeping a tight leash on those sorts of things. It is clear that you have plans in motion, nephew. Ah, your newest lackey. Tell me. Did my nephew mention that he already hired a bounty hunter and got him promptly killed? What's he talking about, Zakar? You're already aware of Duke Corwin's reputation for survival. That could have been our competition. Might have caught a lucky break. 
If you would please excuse yourself, Uncle. I have business with my advocate. I see how your brat Rafid learned to disgrace us. Advocates. Ah. I just got a very impolite communication from Lord Malthus, saying that you assaulted him. Is that true? I may have negotiated with his face a little. <laughs> I've always thought that pompous nitwit could use a good straightening out. According to Malthus's information, Duke Corwin is in negotiations with our enemy, House Organa. They're placing messages in phony relics at House Alder's Royal Museum for later retrieval. Duke Corwin's placed an imposter relic in the museum recently. You'll have to forcibly enter House Alder and find it. I'll get my gear together and head back out. House Alder has the support of Organa and the Republic. Do not underestimate them. And use extreme caution. The museum holds priceless cultural treasures. Nobody wants to be responsible for destroying that heritage. It looks like we're getting to sightsee after all. Some, you lose some. You just lost some.
What is all that noise? Oh, oh, wow, look at all this stuff. It's gorgeous. Oh, oh no. Out, please. Take your battles elsewhere. This museum has no strategic value. You're gonna keel over if you keep that up. Just point out the fake, and I'm gone. You must be mistaken. Each piece here is an irreplaceable artifact from Alderaan's long and distinguished heritage. Some are thousands of years old. You must go before anything is damaged. I'll show you damaged. <sighs> Please, I'm begging you, you mustn't touch. They are each priceless. I can prove it to you. I have an integrity scanner we use for restoration work. It will only take a few minutes to scan for an... Oh no! The security cameras! They've spotted you! You can't fight in here! Looks like you're out of time. bad making that old man cry.